When I first saw Broadside back in November, I decided not to get him. And then I regretted not getting him. So I finally picked him up just the other day in store. This is the one with the mini poster. I'm not going to go through and review the mini poster. I think I reviewed it with my Jimbo review. But yeah, you could just see the mini poster over here. There's Broadside near the middle. Basically almost in the exact middle. Next to Fishtail, Bobby Swift, uh, Ponchi, Maddie, Ernie, Chris, Patty, and Reb. If you haven't seen him, there he is. So yeah, he appeared for basically a split second of screen time. He's seen driving by and uh, Dr. Damage is either chasing him or in front of him, I forget. And I think Fishtail was also near him. And of course we have this description, which I always had to read last year. I used to read it all the time last year. I no longer do that. But I do, fun fact, have it hanging up on my wall right near my uh, racer shelf. So yeah, Pushover, Jimbo, Roscoe, Fishtail, Ernie, and Darren are on the back there. So yeah, let's get started, guys. So here he is out of the package. He does, of course, have matte paint. And kind of an odd expression. He just looks a bit tired, I guess. And, of course, he's a pickup truck. But he doesn't have a grill, so he seemed to have painted it on. Now all these Demolition Derby racers have their... have some details painted on. I guess he thought he'd only look more tough if he had a grill. Or he covered it up, as you can see here. He has a plate here covering it up. Definitely intentional, not a mouth plate. I love his paint job, how it just looks sprayed on, even more so than the other Demolition Derby cars. He has three teeth that we could see, his headlights there, and his bumper, and all matte paint. He's number 25, he has these massive smoke stacks, or they may just be those things that help uh, the exhaust. Uh, while the car is being damaged, like those on Sigler or Pushover, or um, I believe that's Blind Spot next to Pushover. Yeah, that's Blind Spot. And on the back, we have some writing. Oh, uh, that's clever. It says Flip Me Over. Upside down, it says Flip Me Over, so I have to flip him over to read it. And that's funny. His back window is painted over. Again, it's not an error by Metal, it's supposed to be the character painted it over. And you also have these boards over the back, which are rubber. As you can see, if I push them down, it kind of collapse. But they're painted to look like wood. And he's got off-road tires in the back, normal tires in the front, with the middle painted white. I like how this one isn't fully painted white. I don't know if it's an error or if... No, definitely not an error, because this one has it too. Again, it's just supposed to look like he's so homemade. His modifications are so homemade. You also have this grate here. Not sure if that's supposed to be an actual detail, but I really doubt it. I think that's also supposed to be painted on. Dang. Uh, yeah. So there's the base. And that's basically it. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.